Item number SCP-002. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-002 is to remain connected to a suitable power supply at all times, to keep it in what appears to be a recharging mode. In case of electrical outage, the emergency barrier between the object and the facility is to be closed, and the immediate area evacuated at once. Once the power is re-established, alternating bursts of X-ray and ultraviolet light must strode the area until SCP-002 is reaffixed to the power supply and returned to recharging mode. Containment area is to be kept at negative air pressure at all times. Teams including a minimum of two members are required within 20 meters of SCP-002 or its containment area. Personnel should maintain physical contact with one another at all times to confirm there is another person present, as perception may be dulled, skewed, or influenced by pro proximity to the object. No personnel below level 3 are permitted within SCP-002. This requirement may be waived via written authorization from two off-site level 4 administrators. Command staff issued such a waiver must be escorted by at least five level 3 security personnel for the duration of their contact and must temporarily surrender their rank and security clearance. Following contact, command staff will be escorted at least 5 kilometers from SCP-002 to undergo a 72-hour quarantine and psychological evaluation. If deemed fit to return to duty by psych staff, rank and security clearance may be restored when the quarantine expires. Description SCP-002 resembles a tumorous fleshy growth with a volume of roughly 60 meters, or 2,000 feet. An iron value hatch on one side leads to the interior, which appears to be standard low-rent apartment of modest size. One wall of the room possesses a single window, though no such opening is visible from the exterior. The room contains a furniture which, on close examination, appears to be sculpted bone, woven hair, and various other biological substances produced by the human body. All matter tested thus far show independent or fragmented DNA sequences for each object in the room. Refer to the Molson Report for details related to the object's discovery. Mulhassen Report. The following is a brief report detailing the discovery of SCP-002. Subject was discovered in a small crater in northern Portugal where it struck the Earth from orbit. Encased in a shell of thick rock, the fleshy exterior of the object was exposed by the impact. A native farmer happened upon the site and reported his findings to the village elder. Subject gained SCP attention when a level 4 agent posted in the area detected a small radioactive anomaly generated by the object. A collection squad of SCP security personnel led by General Mohassen was immediately dispatched to the area where they quickly secured the subject in a large container and performed initial testing with subjects recruited from a nearby village. Three men individually went into the structure subsequently disappeared. Upon discovering this deadly property of the subject, General Mohassen issued a level 4 A termination order of any witnesses, roughly one-third of the village, to ensure no outside knowledge of the object and initiate its transport to SCP facility. During preparation to transport, Four SCP security personnel were unexpectedly drawn inside the object where they were two immediately disappeared. Following inspection, it appears as if the object had grown several few furnishings and was beginning to look like the interior of an apartment room. General Mohassen immediately ordered the requisition of several Class Three hazmat suits for the remaining security team members, who proceeded to lift the container onto a waiting freight ship to tr transport the SCP containment facility. <laughs> 
Following the termination of General Mulhassen, SCP-002 was resecured by SCP staff and brought into special containment in where it currently resides. Staff with clearance below level 3 have denied access to the SCP-002 container without prior approval of at least two level 4 staff after the Mulhassen incident. Reference to date, subject has been responsible for the disappearances of seven personnel. It was also in its time at the facility further furnished itself with two lamps, a throw lug, a television, a radio, a beanbag chair, three books in an unknown language, four children's toys, and a small potted plant. Tests with a variety of lab animals, including higher primates, have failed to provoke a response in SCP-002. Cadavers, as well, failed to produce any effect. Whatever process the subject uses to convert organic matter into furnishings is apparently only facilitated by the introduction of living humans.